Hello everyone. This is June 25th, 2021. It's 2 p.m., about 20 degrees Celsius. A cloudy day now. We started out as a sunny day this morning, but it's clouded over, but it's still nice. So, right now I am on the corner of, of Spring Garden Road, which is right there, and Coburg if you keep on going up, but down that way Spring Garden Road, and I'm on Roby. And today I'm going to walk over to Quinpool Road, and we'll go up Quinpool Road and make a video today. It's a nice walk. Hope you're all looking forward to the weekend. I know I am. Weekend's almost here. And uh, we'll be into our weekend before we know it. So when I started out today, I had a few issues with my equipment. And I couldn't seem to get my camera facing forward. So I had a hard time. I tried everything I could think of. and. Eventually I had to reboot it, turn it off completely, reboot it, start it back up, and that seemed to help. So we'll continue now to make our video, which is too bad I lost quite a bit of time. I lost about a half an hour there. I couldn't get my phone to point forward. It was just pointing at me. And I tried everything, touch that little thing to make it go the other way and it wouldn't and it get me into all kinds of things on the screen that I'd never seen before. But anyway, here we are now. We're making our video and the issues seem to have gone into the abyss somewhere. We don't know where they are. So the issues are gone and we're making our video. So thankful for that. It's quiet on this street down here. You got traffic going by a little bit, but on this end of Roby, it's kind of quiet. But after we get up by Quinpool, it'll be much busier. So, did everybody have a good week this week? I think it was pretty good. I got out most days and got some exercise and did some walking. And made a couple of videos this week. So, I was beginning to think I wasn't going to get this one, but it seems to have fi fixed the problem now. So, we hope that it goes well from here on. Had a few false starts, but oh well, that's how that's how these things go sometimes. Anytime you got Bluetooth and this kind of technology, you can always count on something could go wrong. Not necessarily it will, but something could go wrong. It has before several times. And I thought I pretty well knew how to fix everything by now, because I've been at this about a year. And I thought I knew how to fix pretty well everything that happened. But when that was pointing forward, or pointing towards me instead of where I'm going, uh, I, I kept pushing the thing to, to flip it over so it would point the other way, but it wouldn't respond. For some reason, I don't know, it got stuck there. Couldn't, couldn't, I could do it by hand, but then when I hooked it up to the gimbal, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't work, it would come point back my way again. So I had to get past that because you wouldn't want to look at me all the way up there. That'd be horrible. So they always said, if you have a problem with a, anything that's a computer or any type of technology and you tried everything, 
turn it off and reboot it. So that's what I did. And it seemed to help because now everything's okay. I should have done that at the beginning, shouldn't I? I would have saved myself a lot of work. Reboot it. That's the cure for almost everything. I've been over in the city since this morning, but I was just being lazy. I was having a coffee or two and sitting around, enjoying the day. And then I thought I'd better uh, get busy here and go to work, make a video. It's not really work. It's just walking, talking. That's not really work. I don't think it's work, but it's doing something that I like doing. We're passing by the hospitals there, and there's the QE hospital has actually got three buildings. And so if you ever come to the hospital down here and they say the Queen Elizabeth, that can mean one of three buildings. You gotta check, make sure you check your address and get the right building. I'm talking from experience. I didn't know anything about that. I thought it was all one building. Got here and found out we had parked in the wrong place. And made some more inquiries and found out there were three buildings. You had to know the right one. So good to know that before you head out here to the hospital. If you're new here, there's three different hospitals and it's all called QEW. So they're all, they're all together, but they're separate buildings and you have to know which one you want. So there's a little tip for anybody coming over here for any reason. Well, we'll make our way over to Quinpool and we'll go up Quinpool and find a nice place to go up there. There's a lot of uh, restaurants and coffee shops and things. So we'll go up there and see if we can find a, a nice place. I'm just passing Cherry Street, which is down there. You know, almost every place you've ever lived there was a Cherry Street. I guess that's a common name for a street. Well, it's not too much of a walk down across Roby to get to Quinpool. We should be able to to do that quite easy in this walk. Now my battery was down a little bit because I was listening to YouTube music. And I didn't really get the opportunity to charge it back up. So I'm hoping I can make it over here and do this video without any more issues. And if I stop somewhere, I got a battery in my pack, I'm gonna charge my phone back up while I'm sitting in there. I think I'll make it. Because usually when I do a video, if it's even an hour long, I still got 40% left when I'm done. So we're hoping that this will go great. We're almost up to Quinville now. Get past these two tall buildings here and we'll be at Quinpool. Then we'll go up Quinpool and See what we can find to do up there.
just after Quinpool Road, you're in the Halifax Common, which is a big grassy area with lots of things there. There's ball fields and all kinds of things like that. And a skating oval and places for kids to play. So it starts pretty much right there. You can see it from here. Then it goes all the way up. Uh, well, I can't tell you the name of the street that borders it. It might be, it might be Canard, maybe. I'm not sure. I'd have to cover that one again and let you know. But anyway, it's a large area, a large grassy area, and good place to spend a few hours on a nice summer day. And now we have arrived at Quinpool, which is a business street. Not real long, but it's a business street with fast food. Oh, that's several fast food places, coffee shop, and all that stuff. And right across the street, there's a vacant lot with a fence around it. And that's the spot where there's going to be a 23-story condo tower going up right there with businesses on the bottom. This hotel right here has been just recently renovated. It's looked really good now. You wouldn't even recognize the old one that was there. It's all fixed up nice now. So we are now on Quinpool Road. We're gonna walk down here and I'm gonna put my magic hand on this phone here and it's not gonna give me any more trouble. I came over the city this morning. I've been over here all day. I think I left home about a little before nine. I've been over here all day, so I put on a few steps today, which is what I like. I like uh, putting on, if I can get 20,000 steps, that's great. I would imagine I'll have that by tonight. Walking is a good low impact form of exercise. It's really good for you. There's not hurt on your knees and ankles like running. But it's still great for you. It'll keep you in shape if you were walking every day or almost every day. That's the Quinn Pool Center across the road. It's a, a place where you can buy some fast foods and there's Canadian Tire and Super Superstore in there. Different things like that. 
and Kiln Apartments is on the end. It pretty much takes up about a block, the whole area. I notice on Halifax, I've said this before, there's a great need for better street signs because when I'm walking, I can't find them sometimes. You imagine driving and trying to spot a little street sign and you've looked at all four corners and you can't find one anywhere. That happens a lot. So if anybody in the Halifax counselors are, are watching this video, Maybe you could work on that, getting us better street signs. It used to be like that in Toronto. When we was up there, they had these little tiny signs, and half the time you couldn't tell where you were, and by the time you got where you could read it, you're in the wrong lane to make a turn. Now you go through and turn around, and all this kind of stuff. And then they started with the brand new type of signs. They hang out off of the the, the poles, and they hang right over the street, and they're about, I would say about between 10 inches and a foot high, and about two feet long, maybe longer, depending on the name of the street. And you can read that from a, a, about a half a block away, you can see the next street, what it is. It took a while to get both signs up, and get them all up for all the streets, but eventually they got there, and and you can tell what street is coming up a long way before you get to it. That would be nice to see that here. They were blue with white lettering, and you could read them a long ways away. Every time you come in intersection in Halifax, you're like, where's the sign? I hope there's one on this corner. And you look all around and maybe as you're about to go through, you'll spot it. And sometimes there's none there. Sometimes it's hard to see. So, yeah, we need improvement on that, for sure. See where the street lights are? That's where the signs hung out over the intersections in Toronto when they put up those new signs. And they were about the size of that street light. That's just about the size they were size of that street light. And you could read them really good. Well, I still got my battery going yet and my and my phone is still clicking off. So everything's good. Everything is going good so far. That's what we like. busy up here today. Well, not a lot of pedestrians, but there's a lot of traffic on the street. I don't know. I'm almost thinking I might stop maybe at McDonald's, but I'm not sure. We'll see when I get down here. Maybe. Maybe McDonald's. Maybe something else. I haven't videoed anything on Quinpool Road for a while. The last time I did something up here, it was in the spring. It was still cold. It was a cold day that day, I remember. It was quite cold. But today it's anything but cold. It's nice out today. It's a beautiful day. Just, just about right, really. Well, 
I see McDonald's down here. I just might go there. Seems like a good idea. It's not that far away. I see the golden M. The arches, the golden arches of McDonald's down here. There's a new building that they just put up this year. Could have been a work yet, but it's rising there. Going to make a nice addition to the neighborhood. Here's a picture of what it's going to look like right here. And we're just past the church, which is right there. And here's the building. So it looks like uh, stores on the bottom. And then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven stores, seven stories above the stores on the bottom. Apartment, seven apartment levels. So, pretty nice. We're almost to McDonald's. And when I get there, I will end this video because I want to go in and get something. Walk up here a little bit more. Oh, what have I got? A message here. Okay, somebody I was talking to on Facebook has sent me a, a message, but that's okay. I will answer them shortly. So here we are at McDonald's in the background, and we'll point it about like that. How's that? Okay. So if you enjoyed this little walk up Quinpool Road across Roby, Hit that like button, and if you're not yet a subscriber, you can become a subscriber very easy just by pushing subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, and you'll be you'll be first to know when I get a video out. All right. So on that note, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now. Have a great day.